So, welcome back. I'm just going to pick off immediately from, from where I left off here. Let's go through here. Just came out of a, a battle arena. With a couple of zombies. Really like the, uh, really like the lighting in this room. Again, it's me playing with... Uh, oh, actually, I think, I think Chris plays this one, but it's, it's us playing with dynamic lighting. Which is really cool. Nice contrast of colours here as well. This was, a, uh, this was a prop that Chris made that we use in a bunch of places in Estranged. You can use it more places than you think you can. Uh, quite a versatile one. Everyone needs steps. Let's keep going up. And then I think we're going to head down after this. Ah, okay, loading. That would have been a better place to break the video, but hey-ho. Let's head along here. Can't get in there. I'm fairly sure that uh, the Dima created a bunch of this level geometry. I think, I think he worked on this little bit. And of course, we have the classic elevator. Can it work first time? Can it? Mm, yes? No? It stopped? Oh, we're gonna plummet to our death. Probably not. Ah, there we go. And of course, that's something Half-Life did. And uh, we, uh, we took inspiration from that because it's quite, a, quite an interesting thing to do. I just, I just saw an infected in the corner of my eye, or I thought I did. I, I'm going to have to stop imagining them now. So I think... Is there anything I'm missing here? I like this little uh, this little arrangement. This is quite a cool level layout. Uh, so, yeah, let's head through here. There's a statistics event recorded here, so probably this one's been... Uh, well, actually, no, I stopped it posting to the estranged Slack. But this one is miscounted all over the place, so this sends off way more HTTP requests than it should. So uh, this one's quite duplicated in the database. Probably the most popular event, because uh, that door was copied and a bunch of the doors have the same event. Uh, so if you have anonymous statistics reporting on, that can, that can spam the API, but it's a small thing. Players are not going to see that, so who cares. This is an interesting little bit. This is, I think this is the first time you're introduced to the Tempest logo. Uh, I do like this room. I can't remember who was responsible for that, but it's cool. Uh, so actually, I can't remember why there's a ladder here. I don't think you need to go down here. That's kind of interesting. I think it's I think it's just optional. You can if you want. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess maintenance workers would need to do that. So, in terms of level design, it's a little confusing, but hey, it doesn't need to be completely straightforward all of the time. And now I can't get one, get back on the ladder. Oh, there we go. I thought I was going to have to restart. That would have been embarrassing. Game breaking bug. <laughs> Found by me three years after release. Yeah, that's terrifying. I hope I don't find any of those. <laughs> we did test this pretty well. We had um, a group called the Beta, te uh, Beta Testers Collective help us with uh, testing Estranged, which I'm very thankful for. Uh, so we ironed out a lot of bugs. And of course, players were feeding back bugs all over the place, which was great. That's, that's how releasing in alphas helped us a lot. I'm a big believer, and if you if you can release something early, release it. Obviously, it doesn't work for everyone, but here I think it it did wonders. Let's go ahead and unplug this. I like this th this this plug is is just straight out of Half Life Two, but I do like the uh, I do like the concept, and the plug is very fun to play with on a physics level. So here, I think, do we have another vent light? Yes, we do. Huh. 
Of course we do. There's an infected trying to get me as well. Oh yeah, this is using the uh, it's using different vent material. Guess it needed to be grinding. Hello. Oh, okay. No, I should not have dithered. Oh, I'm doing badly against this one. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, uh, so uh, yeah, let's solve this. I guess we'll just do that. I'm a fan of these these kind of climbing puzzles. Just adds a bit of verticality into the into the mix. So we may see more of them in Act Two. So here, I think Dima added uh, an Easter egg. I'm fairly sure. I'm just going to spoil that right now. If you don't want to see the Easter egg, look away. But so was it this way? Yeah, it was this way. It's just a guy, just a, a guy watching TV, but he's a zombie. Just something extra to find. Playing with ragdolls, it's always fun. Oh dear. Hello. Oh goodness. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm apologizing. He tried to kill me. So here's our entrance into the, the main Tempest facility, I think. Or maybe that's not yet. There's a lot of corridors here. These kind of merge together in my mind. It's been a while since I, uh, since I played this bit. This is quite long, actually, this section. A lot happening here. There's a nice key puzzle. Oh, come on. Come on. Come over here. Got you, got you. And one more. There we go. Perfect. Steven, I'm running late. Can you put the key back, please? I owe you a beer, mate. Frank. I remember writing this on an envelope I got through the uh, through the door, but we replaced the logo with Tempest. Uh, let's pop this here. Perfect. Oh. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I remember getting confused at that before. It takes a little bit of time. Probably reduce that time, but. I think I know what's coming. Possibly. Yep, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna run away now. Uh, I think he does chase though. He's chasing. No, he's, yeah, he is. But he's, he's confused by stairs. Oh, my goodness. Uh, okay. No, I, I did forget how to play. Ah. This is the main main encounter in the facility. I want to know what's going on in here. Nice little uh, little musical cue there. Uh, that was that was uh, a kind of hint uh, with the estranged main theme you may recognise. I don't like this. Okay, that's broken. Yeah, a lot of this is actually quite unfamiliar to me. I think this is a, again, a smashy puzzle. Yeah, there we go. Very fun to smash windows, of course. There we go. This, this was a nice little uh, piece of level design because it lets you see the see the, the way that you're going, and then you get to actually go. And you, sir, are going to get killed before you get up. Thank you. And you... Oh, goodness. Ah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop the video there and, rec and uh, continue with the next one. Thank you for watching.